Oh, okay. That should do it. It's been so long since I've streamed that, like, the, uh... What's it called? The... The, um, OBS, like, didn't pick up my new mic that I picked up. Okay, so, um, salutations, everybody. I'm just doing, like, some audio tests right now. We're making sure everything sounds good compared to, uh... Compared to, like, you know, my voice and everything. So... Okay. So how is my sound compared to everything else? So let me all know like how that's going. Everything sounds good. Audio's good. Oh, hey, Rin, how's it going? <laughs> Everything's perfect? Okay, so I guess we can we can actually play. So, everything sounds good. We're going to start with Delta Halo. So, we're going to go to Delta Approach. It's time to game. Game down just a tad. Okay, let me, let me do that real quick. Uh, fuck. Well... We'll watch the cutscene first. Uh, report! Both engine cores have spun to zero. We're drifting. Archer pods are cold. I'll need to rekey the system. Do it, and find out where we are. Sorry for the quick jump, Sergeant. You'll see some of the director's team? cut cinematic I'm changes good. here. I have some more dynamic Jeez. lighting. We are five. Ma'am, there's an object coming into view now. Cortana, what exactly am I looking at? That is another Halo. <coughs> Say what? So this is what my father found. I thought Halo was some sort of super weapon. It is. If activated, this ring will cause destruction on a galactic scale. I want all the information you've got on the first Halo. Schematic, topography, whatever. I don't care if I have the clearance or not. Yes, ma'am. Where's our target? The enemy ship has stopped above the ring, ma'am. We're going to pass right over it. Perfect. Given what we know about this ring, it's even more important that we capture the Prophet of Regret. Find out why he came to Earth. Why he came here. Chief, take first platoon. Hard drop. Secure landing zone. Sergeant, load up two flights of pelicans and follow them in. Aye, aye, ma'am. Until I can move in sight, I'm going to keep a low profile. Once you leave the ship, you're on your own. Understood. Over the target, in five. Hang on to your helmet. Thank you, Dimitri. I appreciate that. Mind the bump. Really like your content and amazed by all the work you have accomplished. start um let me just lower my volume real quick for the desktop audio it's a hair maybe like one decibel okay Stupid time to time to game as i said so we have some added elites right here showcases a new um, shade turret that I made it's based off the Halo 2 beta rendition. Oh. This jackal's not dying and I don't appreciate it. 
I'm not wasting a rocket on you. Teleported right into his body. I swear I'm good at video games. I think this one's dead. There it is. Good old perils playing. Where is this LZ? The Pelicans are right behind us. I want to say I might need to like make this more accurate, but it's based off of the uh, the alpha stats. Get over, get Ayo King, take my money. You deserve to be paid for the work you put in Handshake. Also, I can't wait for the cut content that's gonna be released soon. Hey, thank you so much, Mickey Chief. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I can't wait for all those dig site tools to come out. Or all the dig site content, rather. Okay, that ODST scared me. I thought he still had a regular BR. Something you'll notice throughout like this mission is that there are a lot of elites with needlers, and yeah, needler gang, needler gang. But like, artillery disabled, Sergeant. Landing zone this secure. This mission's kind of an enigma for that kind of I reason. I hear you. Start our approach. Hang tight. Easier said than done. Inbound phantoms, Chief. Actually, wait, since there's a rocket up here, where's that ODST? It's over here. Okay. You need some protection. I'm sure about this, Chief. I'm sure about this, Mr. ODST. Now let me show you probably one of the main reasons why uh, destructible phantoms were cut. One second. Just that in that entire encounter is gone. <laughs> Another phantom on approach. But um. I won't have enough rockets for the last fan that's coming in. Oh, I don't have any more shade. I wanted to use the shade, but I destroyed them both. Hey, thank you for again for the uh, donation, Mickey Chief. Appreciate it. I think my ODST hey, friend is going to destroy GT himself. Eyes, I can be unalive in peace. Nothing cut out of these uh, phantom encounters. That I know of anyway. Halo 2 elites with swords are like the most pathetic enemy. They just kind of stand there. I missed. I missed a standing target. I'm gonna uninstall. Did I miss the rocket ammo? Is the rocket ammo even here? I think I, think I might have took it already. Hold here until the pelican arrives, Chief. Um, hold your horses on that, Rin, because, like, we're planning on having, like, some tutorials that are going to eventually come out that we're going to make on modding on the VKMT channel. Here comes that ride! I was going to do a tutorial series on Ventral Vatum a little while ago, like, back in, like, 2020 or so, but, um, or maybe it was last year, I don't remember, but, like, it was with Assembly, and, like, Assembly's going to be outdated for, like, this kind of heavy duty mod view modding. coming in. There's a big building in the middle of this island's lake. I saw it too. It looked like a temple. If I were a megalomaniac, and I'm not, that's where I'd be. Hopefully this Marine decides to stick around, or this ODST rather, decides to stick around with the Warthog. Sometimes they just don't. It's annoying. 
I'm debating on the Rocket Hog versus the Goss Hog for this, because, like, the Halo 2 beta, or, like, a build before the uh, private beta had the Rocket Hog. But, um... But then, like, the E3 demo showed the Goss Hog. And then the private beta had the Goss Hog again. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'll clue it in the uh, attack. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that rocket. Let me restart you. That, that did not happen. Taking ass from out of space. Wish you were here. Wish you were here. I heard that, jackass. Such a good quote. Here's where we get to some of the more cut content. I me. Mean, Covenant has control of the bridge here. ahead. They're going to try and bottle us up like, on this there's side. There's some of the extra board. like enemies on the top floor there. Um, and there's going to be some extra enemies coming towards like this this pair of rocks here. Like there's like some grunts along with like the jackals that normally come through there. Uh, this showcases the new Shea turret here, based off the beta foundation. Watch out, Chief! Brace on the far side! Hearing that charge up sound is so scary. Come on, stop killing yours! I'm not restarting. He deserved it that time. The controls to extend the bridge should be in this structure. Alright, see you, Mickey Chief. Thank you again for the super chat. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna use a ghost. I'm gonna stay out here for a little while. I wanna try to kill the rest of these enemies because something else appears if you kill them. Bottom, I'm gonna head out. I just wanted to drop by to give you some money and show support. I'll see you on the great journey, handshake, handshake. Thank you again, Mickey Chief. I'll see you on the great journey as well. Where is he? Oh, they're in here. I'm purposely playing slow because I'm trying to kill as many enemies as I can to trigger the thing. I'm also trying to avoid a trigger ball, and that's why I'm like sticking to a certain area. Likely why this was cut, but oh, here it is. So a reinforcement phantom comes in with two ghosts. This can come from like four different locations. This is just one of them. It decided to choose. So this next thing is is pretty cool. Okay, so as the pelican comes in, any second. Good, the bridge is down. Now about those rays. Roger them. Armor's on the way. Lot to go. Anyway, this pelican comes in to drop off the scorpion, but it's being flanked by two banshees. Come into attack. What's your Halo cut content, White Whale? That you would most enjoy getting your hands on. Oh. Can't wait to see what you do with Dig that's, that's a good question. 
kill Kundus. Um, honestly, like, I want Halo 2 campaign builds. Honestly. But thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I really appreciate that. But yeah, those two, two Banshees fly in to attack the, uh, the Pelican, but then it guns them down with a machine gun. Scorpion time. But for me, yeah, for me personally though, I really want Halo 2 campaign builds. Like, early Halo 2 campaign builds. I'm not like, almost finished like, two months before the game comes out. No, I want like, 2003, 2002 builds. Like, give me like, the old alpha builds. I would love to play those. This is also one of my favorite tracks in the, in the uh, soundtrack because it's based off of my favorite CE track, which is Walk in the Woods. And this one's like basically just as good. I like them both. Yeah, the uh, I covered the uh, Heretic Leader spawn points on the Arbiter in my uh, part two video of Halo 2 Uncut. But yeah, there was a chase sequence with the Heretic Leader. That was cut. That's what those spawn points were for. Versions of Walk in the Woods are top. There's not a single bad rendition of it. All right, so this next one's really cool. This whole little uh, entrance to the Delta Temple encounter. So I'm gonna kill some of these enemies here to trigger it. All right, so if you kill enough, we got buggers and two jetpack elites that come out from those little uh, entrances there. Please die. Get off my tank. I'm trying to show a thing. Get out of your ghost. No. I'm trying to show a thing and you're interrupting. Okay, yeah, so I got two jetpack elites and a bunch of bulkers. But not but that's not all, because that will show up. Hey, the 283 Auditorium, thank you for the super chat. Okay, they're stuck there. That might also be why that was cut. Where are those other things? Idol Master. We need an Idol Master theme mod. An Idol Master theme mod. <laughs> Spoiling it now, but there's supposed to be two banshees that come in. I don't know where they're, they're supposed to be. Oh, there they are. Yeah, two banshees come in. They just kind of do their own thing. Might need to make that a bit more consistent. Coming up on another structure. We're gonna drive by some unused dialogue in a second. Second now. There we go. 
like a landslide has blocked the main passage. I have to find an alternate route. Okay, so this alternate passage route thing, that's talking about this thing. And I'm gonna open up Sapien after my playthrough is done, and I'll show you what that's talking about. Hey, JFK Gaming, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate that. Thank you for making the Halo 2 uncut video. Halo 2 is my all-time favorite Halo game. Can't even begin to tell you how many hours I played back in the day of it. It's super cool to see all the cut content, so thank you. Super cool, man. Thank you so much. I'm down on my last rocket. Alright, well. It should bring the pelicans. Right? Where are the pelicans? Why are they not showing up? I mess something up in the scripts. Why are the pelicans are showing? Right, I'll have to look into that later. This is why it's still in development. They're all pouring out of the middle. Let's get in there. Pelican inbound. Oh, there it is. I just triggered. Let's the clear a landing. I think I skipped enemies. That's why. Okay, so fun fact about these little weapon pods. This is a new tag I had to make because recently I just found out, or I mean I knew about this, but like it just didn't really cross my mind until now, that um, when you're going through like the map in like Sapien or whatever, and like you're switching all the weapons from like the classic ones to like the uncut ones, it doesn't count these weapon pods because these are crates that spawn weapons as like attachments. So I had to. Um, make completely custom tags for these so that way I got like the E3BR here and like all of my uncut versions of like the rockets and all that. Same thing with the Covenant crates. I had to do that for them too. I'm just gonna stick to my BR rocket combo. Does this use retail weapon stats or some of the other earlier ones to better reflect how the game would have played when these elements are cut? So the weapon tag um, settings that I used were just kind of based off, like, which pre-release variant that I found the most interesting. Like, I didn't really, like, pick any specific, like, timeline to, like, base it all off of. So, for example, I'm using, like, the E3 2003 Battle Rifle. I'm using the Halo 2 Beta's Rocket Launcher. The Halo 2 Alpha's SMG. Stuff, just, it's just like a mix match of different pre-release elements. Nothing really, like, sp like, timeline specific. Or anything like that. Just give me one second. Okay, there we go. Incoming. Covenant hold up in the middle of this structure. We need to clear them out. Not like enemy. <laughs> Gonna be that liberal with rockets. I have it. I'm hoping the dig site people figure out to the um, method to implement like weapon combos or weapon melee combos. That'd be so sick. Cause this is like the last melee animation in that demo weapon melee combo system. We haven't used these yet. Come back. Ooh. 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 Oh. 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 Oh
Those elites don't have weapons. I have to go back. <laughs> I was wondering why they were so jittery. Swing, bada, bada, swing. This is basically a beta test. Because what I do is uh, I'll go over this after the uh, playthrough is over. I have to go through all of the um, the AI squads and like replace all of their weapons and all that stuff with like the uncut version. You see, the sword elites in Halo 2 aren't even that good. Like, they're kind of they're kind of bad. So like they're not even like that much of a problem. I want this carbine. Oh, we got bad news. Flip the damn thing. You have carbine ammo in there. Oh, I have a rocket. You know what? Hey! There's beam rifles in the other area anyway. And that's a cut. Oh, that random plant that kind of comes in. All right, so there's a bunch of cut stuff here. You always bring me to such nice places. Like there's some extra like sniper jackals here. That's not even the best part. You'll see it in a second. It's gonna come any second. Oh, stay out of sight. Here it is. Some cut dialogue and then an incoming phantom. And um, I have a theory that this specific phantom sequence was very early. Because you'll see in a second, the uh, flight path is kind of jank. Hey, thank you, Scarlet Crusader, for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it's starting to clip through that tree there. So that was probably put way before that tree was implemented into the level geometry. But it drops off some elites and dragons. Go get yourself something to eat after the stream. And maybe I will get something to eat after the stream, thank you, but I already had dinner. Yeah, it just drops off some jackals. I might clean this up a bit. It's like hitting the trees and all that. But yeah, that was the the initial plan for this whole area. Yeah, like, that, that can all be fixed. That's not difficult. So, like, correct. No scope. I shot him. Alright, Carpenter. I might fix the amount of ammo that Carbine uses as well, because you don't really get a lot. But it is a very overpowered rendition, so it's probably for the best that we keep it. This little grunt squad here. Oh god! That grunt, that little grunt there was a cut one. Okay. Moving on to the last part of the level now. The last change here is not all that exciting. There's just some extra grunts at the very end. Good. Still no word about in amber clad on the Covenant Battlehead. It's odd. The Covenant know we made landfall, but they don't seem to consider us a very serious threat. Boy, are they in for a big surprise. Wait, 
we can do with this car Hold on. Get off my head. Just fling people away. You can basically stun lock them. Because they have a lot of knockback with each of their projectiles. I don't worry about that plasma rifle. If I can just do this. Yeah, some extra grunts are in here. It's really the last cut element. Seems overpowered. Energy sword building elites in shambles at the side of the beta carbine. Bootha crawls calling me a streamer. What I don't really stream much, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for the uh, clarification. Oh. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Stupid ass. All right, so that's um, that's Delta Halo. Um, now we're going to open up Sapien, which I had pre-opened. Hold on. Goddamn windows or let me turn this off. There we go. So I'm going to go through some bits of trivia here. Of things that... Uh, actually, while we're also here. Um, I'm going to fix that one squad. That had no weapons. No weapons? No weapons? Uh, it's... I think it's Old Temple Court Elites? It's one of these ones. This one. This one had no plasma rifle. To make sure that these guys had nothing else. Okay, yeah. I, let me just check. Make sure everything's in order. Okay. Let me hit save. I could have just controlled this, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to show off some bits of trivia that I found that I um, will showcase. Actually, before we do that, though, let me open up. Um, let me go to the... What's it called? Data, scenarios, solo, Delta approach, Delta approach mission. Okay, where is that one script? Is here it is. It's called LZ Phantom One. Okay, so I'm gonna spawn in this Phantom. This is the first Phantom that drops off enemies. This is basically the destruction effect reference that I showed off in the last part of Halo 2 Uncut, where, like, I, this is where I found evidence of there being destructible phantom ideas for Halo 2. That was the effect reference. Um, I think they were planning on having, like, a specific phantom, like, have, like, a Call of Duty 4 style, like, oh, this thing's crashing into the ground. Oh, look at, look at all these, like, Look at all these explosions. Oh god, no, it's blowing up. Ah, oh god, no. So yeah, that, that was what that was. Okay, so moving on, let me go to about... Oh yeah, I want to show off this part. This one's funny. And here. So I showed off that bugger um, script earlier. Where they had the uh, buggers spawn... Uh, where's that squad? Where's that squad? It is... Temple... But... It, yeah, bugs. Okay, so... So here are the spawn points for the bugs, right? So we got... Where's that one? One there. And one here. So this... You see this tree here, right? So, um... Me... I fixed this during the playthrough. But if you spawn... Them as normal... There's buggers that are spawned in spots behind the tree. So this bugger is just perpetually trapped behind the tree. Doomed 
to be ridiculed by the Halo fandom for being really bad enemies. Trapped forever. So yeah, that that this is another funny thing that I found when implementing all that. Okay. Moving on. I wanted to talk a little more about that one Cortana cut line. So I referenced this little pillar here, and, and it also counts for this one. Um, Cortana talks about like a landslide blocking a path, but it triggers like here, let me show you the uh, trigger volume 4 if I can find it, if I remember the name of it. Let me just, uh... Only draw selected. <sighs> I have to remember the name of it. Uh, I think it's like... Hmm. Hold on, I'm just gonna look it up. Real quick. Landslide... Okay, Old Temple Debris, that's what it was. Old Temple... Let's drop zone. Okay, this is it. So this is the trigger volume that triggers that line. This um, large green rectangle. So when you go through that, it'll cause Cortana to say that, Oh, it looks like there was a landslide that came here, blah, blah, blah. But as you notice, this thing is encompassing like this entire block, but it's also including the, the central area. So, if you wanted to, you could skip the tank sequence and just kind of like jump off of like here and then go into there and go inside the temple or whatever. And you'll trigger the line right here. Which is probably why they cut it, but I don't know why they didn't just make like two different trigger volumes. Like one here and another one like right here. And just have like a script or like an if or whatever. Like... If one of these two plays, then, then the Cortana line comes in, but I don't know. Time constraints. They didn't really make much through. Or there could have been some other reason that I don't really know about. Who knows? Um, oh, yeah, and this one was pointed out to me by a viewer in the last um, video that I put up about and cut. I'm going to switch to the other BSP right now to right about here. I'm going to find something specific. I wonder if it's still out here. Actually, you know what? An easier way to find it. Devices, controls... This thing. This dinky little switch. Um, General Heed covered this in a video a while back. Um, the, the secret of the unknown switch on Delta Halo or whatever. Um, the prevailing theory is... Or the theory is that... Um, since Delta Halo and Regret were both going to be one level instead of just being two, they're probably just like using this as like a test for the like gondola switches. But it, I don't know because like this is using the Zanzibar um, gate control, which might have been like the first one they made. Maybe they just use it as like a placeholder. But um, yeah, this is gonna get a mention in the next part, and that's basically uh. Delta Halo in a nutshell. I just have to fix that one flight path for the fan. I'm actually going to spawn that real quick. Let me just go into the last BSP. See if we can try to fix this live. Okay. So what happens here, right? Yeah. So let's look at the point sets for that. Data point sets. I think it's Grotto Airspace. Okay. So if you know, for those who don't know, Phantoms, Pelicans, whatever dropships or, or like vehicles in general, if they're like going through like a scripted sequence and they have to go from point A to point B, this is the system that they use. It's point sets. So you drop these little markers on specific parts of the map, and they'll start their flight path from, like, this point to that point. And this is a very long one. Like, it starts from all the way over there into here for some reason. I guess it's just for, like, timing purposes. But, um... But, yeah, you get the gist of that. So what we're gonna do... I'm gonna see... It's still kind of a really awkward movement. Okay, so right is... 17. Okay, what this one is. 
17224. Let's try. Let's try 1630. Or 16.3. Where's P0, by the way? Just wanted to make sure. Okay, that's the last. That's, I think that's where it ends. I don't know. Where's P1? Just so I know the, the movement here. That's P1. It's still going to clip through these branches, but I don't think that would be a problem. Okay. Let's save. Spawn the Grotto Phantom. I think it's scripted to play its command script immediately. Oh, I don't think it is. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I have to spawn. I have to play the one command script real quick. Okay. Grotto Phantom. Grotto Phantom arrives. Let me just find the run command script for it. It's easier for me. Okay, CS run command script, Grotto Phantom. Alright, there it goes. So sorry if this like gets boring later. This is kind of like the flashier bit where I'm like I'm like editing live, but like when we get to like the regret editing, it's just gonna be me like looking at like script document lines and um, AI squads and stuff like that. So I'm, I'll try to make it entertaining. I'm not used to this format, so bear with me. Right, so let's see if this fixed the clip. I don't think it fixed the clipper. It's gonna clip right there. Let me see if it's even following that path. Uh, nah. That's gonna be awkward. It's gonna it's, it's gonna eventually like hit like this tree, so it's It's not gonna drop the uh, the elites or whatever because it didn't spawn. Yeah, I, I'm, I really don't like those, like, recorded animation setups for CE. I, I like this system way, way more. Okay. We could also try. We could have it there instead, like, over, like, this part. Maybe that'll work. Hopefully the enemies don't land on this plateau, though, but I don't think that'll be a problem. So let's try that. We'll, we'll try here. So that is... Let me just move this over so I can see the entire coordinate data here. 16.44. Wait, this is the right one, right? This one, yeah. Okay, so 16.44. Uh, 278.28, 28, and 24.01. Okay, let's save just to make sure they got that. Now let's spawn the thing again. Just erase in case it's still alive. Play that. Command script has been run. Incoming phantom. Gotta wait. Actually, we don't have to wait. Or, yeah, let's make it go by a little faster. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it looks jank. Oh, and they're still clipping anyway. Great. <laughs> Let me see if it even flies out. Hold on. So this area is very difficult to kind of like get a good visual. Because the reason why you don't see this bottom part from here is because the map designers didn't do any, like, portaling for the above portion. Because there was no need to. Like, you wouldn't really be up here anyway. So portaling, like, allows you to be able to see more areas of, like, the geometry. That's what you would do in, like, say, uh, Maya, which is what they probably used for Halo 2, I think, or 3DS Max. Or, and Blender, but... I'm just talking like the programs they would have used in 04 and 03. But, um, yeah, that's why you can't see that area there, because you weren't meant to be up here. So that's going to make 
angling this flight path a little difficult. Let's try moving it a little more. I think it might also be too high. Uh, I think it was like, what, 22 last time? Yeah, I guess I don't edit the height. Let's go like right here. That is 14.36. X, 276.76, and let's try that. We don't have to hit save each time, but it's just something I do because uh, I just want to play it safe. I don't know. There's that. Okay. Game speed 5. Let's see how jank this looks. That's better. Honestly, that's probably a little better. I mean, he doesn't like... Oh, no! Oh, he flew through the tree. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if he if it did that normally, though. I don't know if that was just something that it did prior, because I didn't edit those other points. Well, I could move that last part. Um, or wait, hold on. What was that one? He flies there, and then goes down. He flies to P. I might have to make a new one then. Maybe have him like fly this way, then to that point, set then there. So let's do that. Um. Flew his ass into that tree. Watch out for that tree! Anyway. Uh, Crawl airspace, we'll make a new one. Uh, let's put it... One here for now. Raise it up to about 37.72. P0, P1. Doesn't really matter. I think it flies... Hold on, what's the order? Because it goes to P2... Then it flies, I think it flies back up to pH 1, so then it would fly to that one and then that one over there. Okay. Now let's go to the command script. Phantom arrives. Let's look at the ordering here. It unloads those. Fly to and face pH 0. So pH 0 is this one. So we'll, instead of pH 0, we'll have it face P1, which is right here. pH 1, this is just P1. Okay, so we'll add CS fly by um, grotto airspace. Slash P1. And I guess 5. We'll, we'll keep that same speed. Hopefully this doesn't look bad. File. Yes. Save. Let's try this again. Oh yeah, I gotta spawn the guy. Okay. Command script. Here comes our boy. Alright, oh wait, well, let, me, let me slow down and catch up. Alright, what does this look like? Comes down, still gonna hit some like branches, but that's not a problem. Maybe minor clipping here or there, but that's kind of like within the realm of jankery that base Halo 2 had anyway. I'll drop the enemies off there. We'll then fly up. A second now. Okay, and he's facing our new points that we dropped. And now there's no clipping through a tree. Yay. And then he'll fly to the new one. There we go. No clipping. We fixed that jankery for the most part. 
it just flies off and does whatever. Okay, so let's save again because I am paranoid like that. So now we're going to move on to regret. I have not touched regret yet. I don't actually know what I will be going up against. As you can tell, it's got a completely new scenario. So while that's loading, we're going to open up the... Uh, we don't need this anymore. We're going to open up the regret script. So we'll see what's going on here. Go to the mission. Okay. While I'm... Uh, actually, you know what? I, f I forgot to do this. I'm going to play some Halo 2 music. To kind of... Give us some, like white noise and whatnot. Let me know if the music is like too loud or anything like that and I can adjust. Okay. So we're just gonna look through these scripts real quick while the scenario loads. While that's happening, um, how's everyone doing? Um, what did y'all think of the uh, dig site announcement? The dig site announcement as in like we're getting a bunch of cut content coming to the mod tools for Halo 1 and 2. Um, hopefully soon. Music's perfect? Okay, good. Yeah, so like it's not the demo. Like, it's not the demo that we saw in 2003, right? Like, it's not going to be using that stencil engine or anything. It's literally just the map geometry that's from that demo ported over to, like, the retail version. So it's going to be, like, base Halo 2, but it's on the demo map. But it's also going to be playing the scripts that were a part of that demo, which we actually have in the uh, map tools for Halo 2. We actually have the um, Earth City um, script document for that demo. So that that's what it'll be running off of. With like edits that probably like will help help it run better on the modern Halo 2 engine. Okay, so let me see if regret loaded. Okay, regret's loaded. Um So we're going to have this to reference like when we go through all the uh Script. So this is how I look for things. So, um... There are things in scripts called comments. So, for example, I'm just going to move this here. So in order for... Um, certain things to be ignored by Halo 2. So like in case like you want to like write notes within the script document. You'll start the line with a semicolon. And the, the um, map designers, when they were scripting this... Or the level designers, rather... Or mission designers, one of those names. Um, if they wanted to cut something out of the map, they would just add a semicolon to the line. So, for example, if there's like an enemy spawn script that they didn't want to use anymore, they would just put this semicolon here. And this is basically what I'm looking for when I'm scripting, when I'm running through all these uh, scripts to find out like what was removed. And another rendition of this too that I will find is like it'll be another one will be like semicolon with an asterisk that ends with asterisk semicolon. So it's basically just like from here to here, all of that is commented out. So instead of just having a bunch of semicolon, 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 they would just like do those two little semicolon things here. And they'll just like comment out like a whole group of things. So that's what I'm looking for when I'm going through these documents. So we're just gonna start up here. This just goes through like a bunch of music scripts, all that. And I nice sliding start of the mission. Okay, I'm just gonna warn you all this this part's probably gonna be very boring. This is like where the majority of my work is when doing un uncut development is literally just me scanning through just a text. See here we already got something here. Like, well, actually I think this was I think this might have been like a test thing. This was in the Delta Halo thing too, but you get what I mean. Um, and start moving, gain profit, throne D, any aisle. Maybe the... 
Actually, I think it's because like the um, the prophet was already playing the idle animation anyway. So, I'll have to I'll have to look at this. <laughs> the grid to nine eleven confirmed. <laughs> no, that's just the date that they edit this the uh, the script. That's just like oh we did this at this time. So that would have been up September eleventh of oh four. I think would have been like the latest edit. All right. Scrolling through here. Don't worry about these little ones here. Like, they just, they just basically do the same thing, just a different method of it for like playing the dialogue. I'm hoping I find something really like large here. This is another test thing, I think. This is Tower 2. Oh, I can't wait for Alpha Moon to be finished too. Sneed Clove or Sneed Clave. That that's that's my favorite like pre-release mission to like find information on. This was the uh, I think the central platform because the phantom was supposed to go slower there at some point but that's not I don't I mean I guess I could eh, I guess I can show that off so I just well, when I want to remove a comment I just take that out but some of these things were cut for a reason like sometimes I will enable something and then the thing does its thing that was cut and then like it kind of like glitches or doesn't play it properly Hence why it was cut out in the first place. So maybe that vehicle speed boost thing here might have been like for the worse for this command script. Because this is the uh, one that drops off the hunters right before the gondola section. Another thing here too with the, uh, there was a point set for the pelican to come in. Fortunately, not a lot of like flashy things at the start of the level. Hoping to at least run into something that's neat. Yeah, some more point set scripts that were taken out. Oh, that's not really all that interesting. Oh, we got something here. We got something big here. Buggers. On the gondola, gondola O one buggers board. I mean, this might. Here's the other thing too, right? So like you'll see these things, and like it might have just been like. I'm actually, looking at this right now. AI bugs new. Let me look. Let me look at that. Uh, gondola bugs. Where are they? What are they called? Gondola O one bugs new. Let me find that real quick. Why can't I see that? Is it... Oh, here it is. Okay, so that's where those buggers spawn. So this is the one that... Those are the ones that are in retail. But there are buggers, I believe, here. Okay, this is where the other spawns were. So, like, I think... I think this is just like a more complicated version of what came after. So like if you just spawn these. And there you go. That's why those were cut. They're just an hero. <laughs> so um, I believe those buggers were like basically just meant to do the same thing that the new buggers were supposed to. Just like this was just made more refined. So yeah, that's our first little cut sequence. But like, that's doesn't really count because like it, it's supposed to like bring in the same effect that the uh, original did. So we can just kind of ignore this. Although it would have been nice to have something new, but yeah, you I'll run into a lot of this too, and it's like a bummer, but. Yeah, like, this was just a more complicated version of 
the new bugger spawn that they would have had for that section. Why do I keep running into bugger scripts that are cut? I'll tell you why, because the buggers are bad enemies and Bungie knew it. Can I add climbing elites? I, you know what? I've been thinking about that. Like, I want to, like, try to incorporate that somehow. But, like, you have to start them, like, already climbing. So, like, you have to spawn them. Actually, you know, I'll show you this right now. So, let me just open up a random spawn. So, like... Right here. So, like, you have the buggers, right? And you know how, like, the buggers, like, already start off flying? Yeah, that's because when they spawn... Like that... It's because they're placed in flying mode. So let's look at the spawn points. So their initial their initial movement mode is flying. So you have three different modes. You have the default, you have flying, but you also have climbing. So stuff like the flood combat forms to climb. I had did videos on the juggernaut that also had climbing, and then like the elites, they would ideally be using this. Like as like the most consistent way to have them. I know there's that one stealth elite on uh, outskirts during the uh, sniper alleyway section that sometimes just randomly goes into a climbing animation for no reason. Um, I've been meaning to look at that area too. I've just, just kind of been forgetting. But um, yeah, the stealth elites specifically have impulses to like start that climbing um, animation. And I don't think any of the other elites do. But yeah, it's like just the elites, and I think they have to have one plasma rifle to do it, because that's the only animation they have, is for the uh, pistol ones. Hey, thank you, Dimitri Theodorides. Hope I said that right. Do you think 343 will remake certain assets for the Cut H2 missions? My personal favorite, the E3 Phantom. Uh, I hope so. The E3 Phantom was pretty cool. I especially like the way you, like, when you shoot at it, it, like, makes that, like, green, um that green like effect like when it's shot at with like the goss hog I hope that comes back do you think 343 I will remake certain assets for the cut h2 missions my personal favorite the e3 phantom I hope so too also um I hope we get to see like missions that have like brutes in them like early like the E3 level did. Hopefully get to see more of those. More of those guys. They're really underrepresented in this game. At least as enemies. Okay, that's just another repeat of this line. We can ignore that. Gondola 01 Phantom arrives. Ooh, what do we have here? Let me see if that's played elsewhere though. Because sometimes like I'll see like a Phantom script that was cut out. But then, like, it's just called at another time. So I usually ignore that, those kind of ones. Let's see. Okay, so this is a cut sequence. Gondola Elite Borders. Wait, so, like, were there elite... Were there phantoms supposed to board your gondola? Huh. Let me look at this. What is that called? Uh, gondola 01 Phantom. Let's look at that. Yeah, like, elite riders and all that. Oh, no, no, it's the borders. Okay, so let's look at this. Condola 01 Phantom. So here it comes. It plays a command script immediately. Is this supposed to, like, follow the gondola? I'm actually just, like, curious about that. Like, it's supposed to follow the device machine, like, where it is. But maybe it's, like... Maybe it's, like, as you're approaching this area, and then you're there? Let me look at the script. Yeah, I play Elite Borders, Vehicle of Magic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gondola 01 Phantom Pilot, Gondola 01 Flight. Is that what it's, it's on here? Let's 
Oh, okay, so he hasn't, he hasn't played that part yet. Okay, so I have to do to see this work out. Let me despawn it. I'm going to spawn that, then play the command screen. Let's see where it's going now. Okay, now it's doing something different. Let me see the. Uh, let me see if there's a point set data for it. Point set. BSP one airspace probably. Okay, so it's following this line here. Okay, so like it drops off the enemies there. I'm assuming, and then it flies somewhere. Maybe it's supposed to be another command script that plays after that. I don't know. Where are you going, man? You're flying to that point set? Why, though? What's the point of that? Hold on. Oops. What are you flying over there? What are you plan on doing? What? That's it? Okay, well, I guess that's why it was cut. <laughs> Let me look at the uh, command script for the Gondola 01 flight. Let's look at that. Wait, Gondola 01 unload. So, yeah, it, um, it unloads. I'm assuming here, not there. 022 or 21 or, or yeah I guess it's just unfinished he guys was supposed to fly elsewhere and then delete okay all right so that's a thing maybe the fan was meant to follow the gondola after maybe yeah maybe it's kind of like a strafing run as it's like trying to chase you or whatever okay all right, let's continue on. I will keep a note for that later. Let me get this out of here. Gondola 01 Reverser. In retrospect, Regret really doesn't take Master Chief serious until, you know, he's in front of him. I wonder if any of that fight is cut. Well, we'll see. We'll see if there's anything different about that. I did this already. AI scene, Gondola 1, Borders scene, Gondola 1, Borders, warn all allies. Oh, okay, so I think the, uh, I guess there's a command script for that. I guess like, oh god, there's there's phantoms incoming or something. Let's go to that. CS play in line 0970. Let's open up Gorilla. And let's find that line. Okay. Where is it? Dialogue. Levels. Delta Temple. Mission. Oh, 0970. Whoa! Hey guys! We got borders! Well, there you go. There's your cut line. So that's what have been played when the Phantom shows up. Okay. So back to here. In fact, you know what? I'm going to uh, uncut those. Uncut that. I don't know if this sleep is necessary. I'm gonna leave it alone for now, though, and see if uh, it messes with anything. Where is this, by the way? 
Okay, so I've got plenty of time. I just want to make sure that like I don't hit any like copyright unfriendly music afterwards. Yeah, hopefully, or yeah, this should have gotten. This should have been a 360 game, honestly. But that that would have been even more troublesome to like develop and get used to a new console. Maybe the 360 should have came out in 06. Give Halo 2 another year in the in the oven. Where is and with under our chase to function really slash down. I don't know what any of that is. I'll have to look into that later. Splash up. I don't, I don't know what all that is. Might have been an older method of getting that device machine to work. And that's relating to the elevator when you go underneath the water. Ooh, are these cut lines right here? There should be an elevator. Is that a cut line? 1030? Let's look at that. There should be an elevator. Oh, okay. Thanks, Cortana. I don't know if that's a cut line or not, but I've never heard that before. Let me see if it plays anywhere else. 10.30. Okay, yeah, so I think it's a cut line. See you until... We'll just cut all, or bring back all that. I wonder if flood infections would be possible in H2. Uh, I don't know if that functionality is in the tags. Um, all that stuff would be added on to Halo 3 and onwards. But those who have messed with like bipeds, they would probably know more than I do. It was an AI erase all enemies here at some point, but I don't know why. Oh, we got something here. Hold on. We got something here. Let's see. If elevator underseen gone, false, false, begin. AIC. Is it a random or? AI scene, elevator under ally scene, elevator ally 01. Alright, let's see what's going on there. Hey, my ears just popped. Uh, just exactly how deep are we? You think that glass is bulletproof? Let's listen to those lines. I don't know if those are cut. I mean, they probably are, but... I don't know if they were... I guess if, like, Marines survived with the Orodius T's or whatever, then they would probably play these. Hey, my ears just popped! <laughs> hey, my ears just popped! Uh, so there's two different variations of that. Uh, just exactly how deep are we? Uh, just exactly how deep are we? You think that glass is bulletproof? You think that glass is bulletproof? Yep. More cut dialogue. Oh, it's random, so I guess it's just like they choose which one they do first. This is one of those instances where they just did semicolon, 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 but the more time savey way of doing that would be just a semicolon asterisk. Oops. All right, all that's enabled. Deep marine lore. Literally, they're deep in underneath the water. Set Tower 3, Cortana, continue true. 
Let me see if that's mentioned again. False. See what's all true. Okay, yeah, so that... We need to have that checked off so that way that line plays later about... Oh, there should be an elevator. Okay. Did that. Now we're at the sunken tunnel, which I believe this is the... Uh, I believe this is the area with the hunters. Oh, no, I don't... Oh, no, this is outside, I think. Well, I don't know. I don't know the uh, the lingo for regret yet. I'm still just thinking. Some of it's obvious, but others aren't. Wake Tunnel 01 Cortana Comet. That is commented out. Let me see if that's play. Let's see if that's awoken anywhere else. Okay. Out there, look, more ruins. That is what, 1090? Out there, look! More ruins! Damn. More ruins. Thank you, Cortana. Alright, so we are going to bring that up. It's actually really great that I'm doing this live. So that way I can go back and watch the stream and f remember what it is that I changed. I will not delete the stream when it's over. I'm going to keep it open. So that way others can watch from beginning to end. Probably going to stream for like another 40 minutes. Probably till about 10.30 my time. Because I got work early tomorrow. cut stuff going on here. Another thing to keep in mind too is that sometimes you won't see cut stuff in the scripts even though they'll be in the scenario. So like, after I'm done with this, I have to actually go back into the scenario and find anything else that's may or may not be referenced in here. For example, the buggers in the Delta Halo mission that come out with the jetpack elites, like they're not mentioned at all. Those are just found like while well, scrolling through all the squads. Yes, I yes, this is verse. I may have semi doxed my location by telling you what time zone I live in, so I could be anywhere from New York to Florida. That narrows it down. <laughs> oh yeah, the shielded hunters thing. We'll see if that's even mentioned in this document at all. Hunters bust on in if the encounter is alerted. Okay. I think, okay, I think I know where we are now. I don't really need to worry about this. Oh, we got some, we got a bunch of cut enemies here. Let's see what we got. We got AI place sunk chamber in it. Jack, I'm assuming that's jackal shields. Let me see if they're um, mentioned anywhere again. Hello, three. Yep, so these are cut enemies. AI play sunk ch sunk chamber in it jackal shield level three. So let's look at that. AI play sunk chamber in a jackal shield level three. So this is probably in I think BSP four. I think. Is it no? Okay, is it BSP O two? Okay, it's this. Oh, okay, slow down. Slow down there. Ah, funny. They replaced the Jackal Sniper spawn with a Beam Rifle spawn. Huh. Do they use Beam Rifles as, like, spawn points for the Jackals? That's actually funny. Okay, and then there's this one here. 
There would just been more jackal snipers in this room. That that's horrible. Awful. I'm adding them. You will all suffer. Suffer the jackal snipers with me. <laughs> and there's more um more <laughs> why are there more jackal snipers? Why are there so many? Oh no. And these guys are doing some weird focus. I guess they're looking at the, the hologram. Big regret hologram. And there's some honor guards here that were cut. Oops. There's some honor guards here that were cut as well. HGRA, HGRB. Let's look at those. HGRA. HGR. How many are there? One. 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 Could be any of those spawns. That's a random spawn. And then this one. It's just this. So there would have just been two honor guards here. I'm assuming. Yeah. It's an, a second honor guard swordsman. I clearly need to add at least 20 more Jackal Snipers. Yeah, that's being generous. Uh, that... Hey, thanks, Science. I hope I said that right. Yeah, it definitely needs more cowbell. I absolutely agree. Wake Sunken Hollow Translate. That's another one. And then it's Custom Scenery Animation Big Head. Needs more cowbell. Throne D any... Uh, I guess, them again, that's probably just them not... I think that they're already playing the idle animation anyway, so that's just, just unnecessary. Wake Sunken Hollow Translate. So let's go and look at that. Oh, so that's... It's called again, so it isn't really... It, it's mentioned again anyway, so I guess it doesn't really particularly matter. Unless it's like... Woken at a specific, like, different time. Like, where is this? Okay, so it's just, it's woken up later. Which I don't think it really matters too much. Okay, so moving on. AI combat says sunken chamber enemies idle. I guess they're just meant to be idle instead of patrolling? If and... Uh, okay, because, like, if they're idle, then they'll do this stuff here. Sunk chamber bugs. I still don't remember there being buggers. Hold on. Sunk chamber bugs, L01. Sunk chamber bugs. Were there buggers in here? Actually, I don't remember. Oh, okay, yeah, there were. Are there four, 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 four? Okay. But are you going to add the Jackal Shield as a usable weapon? I probably should, honestly. I know it's a cut weapon. I think... Wait, is it a cut weapon? I don't know where I heard that from. But, uh... If I can confirm it's a cut weapon, I'll probably think about it. I don't remember where I heard that from. Continuing on. Hey, Leadhead, what's going on? You joined at the boring part where I'm looking through all the mission scripts, finding cut stuff. But um, luckily the stream will be open or will be viewable for everyone once I'm done and you can watch the Delta Halo playthrough. People have been able to spawn it using assembly, so probably. Well, yeah, you're able to spawn them just fine. Like, you could spawn them in Halo 3, you could spawn them in Reach, like, it's all the same in those. It's just like, the uh, Jackal Shield is meant to be a weapon tag for the Jackals for them to attach it to, like, on their arms. 
That's how I'm able to have like dual weapon animations and all that. Oh, we got more buggers. We got more buggers. Let me see if this is called anywhere. No, we got cut buggers. Tunnel 02 buggers. So where are those? Tunnel 02 buggers. Where is this? Oh no, they're in here. Why are they? Wait. Hold on. Why are you in there? Why are you in there? It's a funny spawn. Funny groups as well. How you doing, bud? You enjoying yourself in there? Stupid idiot. Effect new splishy splash. Hold on. I didn't even see that. No, oh, whatever. But anyway. Yeah, so there's buggers in here. And then buggers 02, which I'm assuming is this one. Oh, that's evil. Oh, that's evil. Oh, that's evil. Oh, that's evil. Are they- Oh, that's so evil. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Where, where, where is this again? Is this the... Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought they were about to spawn behind you. Okay, so that's... That's how those come in. Why more buggers, man? Come on, no. Did we need this? I feel dirty removing these semicolons. I just have to fix that spawn point. Where is this? It was bugger one. I'm assuming the reason it's like this. Probably there was a different design in this area. Maybe like this wasn't there's like there were no like support beams here. Maybe it was just like a pillar. Like these things. So they wouldn't just kind of... Oh, he shot out. Hold on. Let me try that again. <laughs> this one didn't follow the memo, though. Oh, oh, there it goes. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh... Let's fix that. Come here, you. There we go. Let me just make it a little better. That'll work. You're fixed. And I gotta fix you. Hey, the 283 Auditorium. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Not evil. Awesome. Also, sniper jackals are awesome. Okay, you. Okay, Mr. Contrarian. I will agree with you this once. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. Okay, hold up. Uh, it's like negative, so it face the opposite direction. There we go. Let me just move you forward. Not evil. Awesome. Fixed. Also, sniper jackals are awesome. Also, this is kind of in a weird spot. Let me fix that one and maybe turn you 183 oops not there but that's in the right direction right here right dead center what the no there No. Don't embarrass me in front of the audience. Get oh yeah, I know what I have to do. I guess you can't I think these are scenery objects and you have to move them up. Uh, uh, 51. That's too high. 51.8. Alright, Nick Bits, thanks you for stopping by. 51.9. Trying to like angle it. If 
fuck, that's that is hard to. How about there? Okay. Fifty-one point nine. There we go. That'll work. All right, that's fixed. You thought rocket flood were bad. Try fighting sniper flood. Agreed. They're evil. Okay, let's see what we got here. What else? The island portion, which is after the elevator. Some control scheme that I don't think matters too much. Last heap of allies. I know where we're at now. Some different flight path points for the pelican here, but I don't tend to really mess with those too much. But there's a lot there. Might need to consider it. I'll, I'll think about it another time. Were there any ideas to add an assault rifle or concept for in Halo 2? Not that I know of. If there are ever any assault rifles in Halo 2's development, it was probably just like placeholders for like the battle rifle or something. But no, like the CE assault rifle was meant to be replaced by the SMG in terms of like its role in the game and whatnot. I think it was because Bungie looked at the CE sandbox and like, wow. The pistol is like the primary weapon. Why is it a pistol? Let's make it a rifle. So that's where the battle rifle comes from, I believe. Same with the SMG being more of like a secondary. Well, I mean, it's a primary in multiplayer, but like secondary compared to the battle rifle. Imagine fuel rod flood. Oh, imagine fuel rod flood with like the uncut version that I have. Oh, that's, that'd be disgusting. That doesn't matter too much there. Oh no, what is this? There's comments for elite rangers and buggers here at right before Gondola Ride 2. Let's see what's going on there. Uh, where is this? Okay. Um, <gasps> next BSP. Okay, where are we? Uh, hold on, I think it's right here. Okay. So this is the area after the first or second tunnel area. Let me see. There's supposed to be rangers and buggers. Ranger. Is there a ranger in here? Was this ranger meant to test the regret fight? Is that why there's a ranger in here? That'd be funny. Temple heavies. Okay, they, they have turrets. I couldn't think they were there before. Okay. But there were specifically references of rangers. Okay, so that's how that works. Like they. Okay. Rangers and buggers. Let me see if I can find. An exterior jackal shield elites. This is them, right? Yeah. 
Or I guess, like, this might be the section, like, after. After the um, island part. Gondola. AI placed near Gondola 02 Jackal's grunts. Near Gondola. Oh, Gondola 02 jetpacks. Unless, like... Okay. I think I know what's going on here. Oh, there's no buggers here. I don't think. Not th this was the one from before. I think it might just be referencing Gondola 2 jetpacks. Hold on. So that's part of it. But I don't know if... Um, where is that? Not these guys. Or is it... Oh no, it's rangers, not jetpacks. Rangers. Elite rangers. be rangers at because it's near gondolas talking about this area here so i don't know if there are meant to be rangers and buggers here because that's i wouldn't really know where to put them though because there's no spawns here island phantom jackals grunts needs script or something. I don't know. Anyway. Tap BSP2 allies. Hmm. Okay. We'll come back to this another time. Let's continue on here. Check legendary. Um... It would say here, like, if legendary, it would spawn this. Or that. Boost the temple. You know, pathfinding can also true. Shoot true. Hmm. I feel like a lot of that is unnecessary. I love Sacred Icon Suite so much. Honor Guard Rangers. That'd be sick. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that, that'd be scary. I don't think I would be... I guess it could be doable, but... Let's see what else. This is just game save stuff here that's not necessary. Temple Halls Elites. More game save stuff. Unnecessary. Boss fight hints. Alright, so now we're at the regret boss fight. There's a lot of scripts for this boss fight. Oh god. I can only imagine what the Bungie developers were going through. Getting all this to work. Oh my gosh. Like, this whole, like, this is, like, what, 75% of the way through the script document? It's, like, it's almost all for the, re like, the regret fight. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if there's anything cut in here, though. If set HD delay and regret times that on. And that's... I, I guess that just means, like... Delays a spawn. Honor Guard Hunters, please don't scare me. Not while I'm on stream. 
<laughs> Wait, what the heck is this? Effect one archer mark body. Object cannot to damage regret. Player enable input false. Unit set entered by player regret false. Weird. Huh. So is like. So is there like a moment where like you just have like no control of yourself during this fight? I don't. I don't know. Um. Well, what I'll do is. Again, I can come back when looking at the stream another time and just kind of look at this, but, uh... Regret Corpse bot. This might have been a test script. Regret Corpse, and then, like, it respawns. Oh... Uh, regret Corpse, Regret Throne... I don't know. Either way. Either way, I will we'll see what this I'll see what this looks like later. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I think you have to kill the enemies first and then deal with regret. What's what it's looking like here? Object cannot take damage, fake corpse. Oh my gosh. Object detach, regret thrown, regret corpse, object destroy, regret corpse. Regret death, regret thrown. Is this when he dies? Regret death. Oh, okay, so this is when he actually. I think it was when he actually dies? So, okay. I'm gonna enable all this. See what happens. We shall see what happens. Oops. Probably gonna look super jank. But I can always come back and re-comment all these if it's unnecessary. Got everything right. Yeah. Test. Overall script, that's fine. Wake Regret Respawner. What this? This may have been a test script. Possibly. But I will wake it. But it's probably gonna, like, cause issues. Wake Temple Cortana 103. Let's see what that is. War beat. Thank you, Just Alarm. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, there's multiple times where this is that I'm called. Wake Temple 103. What is this? Bad news. The reinforcements are turning off and fire on the position. W-O-H-R-B-Y. 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 That, that's a... That's not a cut line, though. Unless, like... Um... This is moved elsewhere. That might be what it is. Let me look at 0220. Oops, I cut.
Yeah, let's just play it elsewhere. That's kind of whatever. Uh, where was I? Temple 103. That's where we were. Wake Regret Beam Common. This is what I wanted to see, too. And that's not called elsewhere. Okay. Keep clear of that beam. I don't think you'll survive a direct hit. That is 1270. We're not this. Oops. 1270. Let's read this or listen to it. Keep clear of that beam. I don't think you'll survive a direct hit. More cut dialogue. I believe that's cut dialogue. I don't think that's said anywhere else. Let me check. Yep, yeah, that's a cut line. We unearthing more cut content. This is what I like to see. No high charity, yeah. Regret teleport comment. Might be another cut line. Phase spatial relocation. The same technology the monitor used on the first Halo. Oh, that's that would have been a cool little reference there. Let me see if 1260 is called anywhere else. Just to make sure that's cut. Yep, that's a cut line. 1260. Phased spatial relocation. The same technology the monitor used on the first Halo. Seems the Prophets saved the best toys for themselves. That would have been a cool little Halo 1 reference there. Okay, let me bring that back. I'll leave that alone for now, but uh, yeah, I forgot to cut that out. And that one. Well, actually, no. Keep that one, because I think it... I think what Warren 3 is called again later anyway. Right, what, hold on, I'm, I'm not going crazy. Okay, yeah. So we'll just have that called there. There we go. And that is the end of that. Let me see if that's called anywhere. See, 4,000. Oh, damn. Cool, 4,000. That's... Okay, so that's basically a cut line, too. From... I keep clicking Sapien by exit. <laughs> and that is the end of that. That explains how Gravemind got Regret's body, since the Coveys glassed the entire temple before the Flood can get within it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, uh, have that play. Cinematic sub, cinematic fade from white. Wake music starts. Wake music 05B10 start. Let me see if that's woken anymore. I'm going to re enable those. Okay. I place Temple Exit Jackals L3. Let me see if those if that's a cut squad. Oh, that's a cut squad. Temple Exit Jackals L3. Temple Exit Jackals L3. Where are these boyos going? There's not normally this many. It was only calling for three of them to spawn at a time. It's just like those were all like random spawn points. 
and it would just choose three of them. So I guess they come here and I guess you're trying to escape. Temple Entry Retreat. Let me see if that's cut as well. Oh, so I think there might have been like an extra little segment at the very, very end. Because there's like Temple Foyer Retreat is also in here. So maybe like Temple Foyer Retreat. Yeah, I place Temple Exit Elites. No one. It's looking like there would have been like a little extra um, segment. Yeah, not those. That's a cut line or cut script. Now I'm clicking Gorilla. Oops. Temple Exit. Where are you guys at? Now they're firing on each other because there, there's no AI allegiance script placed on them. Temple exit elites, temple exit grunts. Yeah, so those are all cut. That's interesting. So I think what was supposed to happen was like, instead of um, like it immediately going to the cutscene like after you kill regret, you were supposed to run out of the temple itself first, and then fight your way out, and then like at the very, very end, that's when the cutscene plays. I'm thinking, right? Temple entry retreat. AI yeah, place temple exit honor guard. Honor guard and the elites. Is it HGO4? Yeah. Where are you bozos at? These guys were canonically sleeping on the job. He's like, wait, Regret's dead? Oh no! I was supposed to be inside! Dang it! And there's Tech Vlogs well, at Elite so far. What about you bozos? And these guys were... Oh, there's just no one in there. Hold on. Is it zero? Wait, what the heck? Legs at elites. Oh no, Temple Legs at Elites 04. I picked the wrong one. There we go. Then these guys as well. Let's see, yeah. Temple Honor got in it. Oh, these are the guys you see here on there. Okay. Alright. I think I'm gonna end it here for now. Uh, I'm actually going to turn these off as well. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to see if the script compiles. Please compile first try. Based. Compiled. So yeah, work has begun on regret. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to stop it there. Um, I might do another one of these. Like, this was actually kind of fun. I liked, like, working on this and then interacting with y'all at the same time. I think it'll actually help with, like, productivity, too, because it'll keep me focused and not distracted by, like, other things that happen in my house. So, um, I might do, like, some editing here, like, off-screen, and then I'll show y'all, like, what I have finished. But, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna do it, I'm definitely gonna do another one of these, probably, like, sometime next week. Um, I'll have to remember. But, um, yeah, once again, um, thank you everyone for stopping by. This was a, a lot of fun. Thank you all for the super chats. Had a great time. Hopefully we get all that dig site stuff um, sometime this year. I would love to incorporate that into Halo 2 Uncut. Um, and, yeah, um, thank you everyone for coming. This is the Ventral Vadim, and I'll see you on the great journey.